I just added the movie uh, model class. I am going to be adding a controller. I want to use the entity framework. My model would be the model class movie. I want to add a new data context class. I like to say DB context, so I know it's a database class. There's my default controller for the movie. It is going to have my CRUD methods here. So I have my index details, create, edit, and delete. There's also a dispose method. Okay, so this is my default controller. And then I will also have like a folder called the movies for the view, right? All my views are here. So just the whole whole setup is complete right now. What I want to do now is to go and add a unit test for this controller. Add unit test. So it just creates a unit test.cs file. You want to like rename it movie store controller. It is going to rename your class. But then the test method is up to you how you want to call it. I really do not like the test method one, two, three. I normally call it something very similar to what the action method is. So index is the first method. So I'm going to be call, calling it as index. I've not decided what I want to test yet. Um, so let's go and take a look. Just for simplification purpose, I'm going to add one more method. I'm going to copy the index method and make it one more method and call it as list method. The reason being, I just want to keep the index simple. So at least we have the first test. So we're going to like uh, make sure that there are a few things set up here. You want to make sure you have the uh, movie store controller if you are going to use like model movie store models if you want to use a collection or anything like that you want to make sure that you are including a using statement here Just defining the object we need the basic object before we can invoke a method on it so it's showing me all the methods that are available for me I'm gonna call the index method okay and if you go into my movies all of the results are usually action results because they could be one of the few things so they could be returning a view they could be doing a redirect they could be returning a JSON you know, or they could be returning a HTTP error. It could be any of these ones. But at this point, because it is returning a view and there is no other flow possible, we are going to make sure that it returns a view. So for getting a view, the most important thing for us to do is to cast this as a view result. Okay, view result is not showing up because it needs so it needs the view result. So I'm going to say view result result. So what I did here is I'm casting the return value as a view result. That would ensure, like for example, if what is being returned is not a view result, it's like a redirect to route or something like that, 
this is going to become null because it's just incompatible. That's a great way for us to test. So now we are in the assert. I want to make sure my view is not null. So the reason why I change it up the index method is so you get some practice for writing unit tests by hand by yourself. So you have to understand that you have to arrange have to act then you want to assert you want to remember these steps uh, and i can show you uh, like other ways that we can modify it so um you know what happens when other things are coming we can just like how i said like the view one we have covered the view we have to look at how to do the redirect json we can ignore for now http error is something very common um you know it's here in this one if you see details when we write the details code we are going to look at the http uh, the return value here when we do the create one we are going to look at the redirect to action and then here we are going to be checking in the edit method we are going to be checking a view that returns a model and how to like handle that so just some uh, these are like very basic things that we need to be able to do um, otherwise, we really can't handle a basic controller. So those are the different things we are going to be doing. So maybe I should move this out of here. Okay, so that is the very first unit test that we wrote. Let's test it. Always test it. Test Explorer is the one that you want to go to. So index test, if you want to be very clear about which controller it's coming from, we can change this to or index test. I can say test view. That's what we are testing for. And that There you go. Movie store index test view. That's the one that passed. These these three guys are from the home controller tests. Okay. So let's uh, go to the movie controller and look at something. Let's just go and like add like a method that's not an action method, okay? This one is returning a list of movies. 